All right, there's a problem that I see constantly, which is how to change the rotation of an actual individual character text using the follower modifier. And by default, the pivot point will be at the bottom of the word. If we want it to move it to the middle and say we want to do other transformations with that pivot point, then there's it's a bunch of other problems if you don't do it correctly on the correct control. So I want to show you how to do that the wrong way and then the correct way. And so I have my text here and we're just going to do our normal modifier with our follower. So we're going to right click this area over here, go to follower, to modifiers, change our delay to say one, go to our transform tab this is going to be the wrong way and so usually we want to use the rotation here so we would just maybe keyframe there at the beginning and let's go like 90 over here and then play this back and you can see our pivot point is stuck to the bottom we don't want that we actually want it to be in the middle and so what do we need to do let's make sure we're clicked on this go to our modifiers again and then say we want to just change the pivot point let's go up to the actual middle point we're using this it's going to be 0 0.025 weird number but okay so that works and then if we play it back nothing changed oh because on the modifier every time you're using a follow if you change something there, you need to actually keyframe it. It doesn't matter if you put animation or not, you just need a keyframe on there. So keyframe there. It just pops up this other panel. Go back to our follower that we have it here. And now we have our rotation from the middle. And yeah, let's get rid of these dots. Even if you want to have these dots on, it's just this little thing over here and it shows you where the, the text is positioned. We don't want that. So that is the way that this is moving. And let's say now if we add some movement, so we want this to go up. And we can't do that here. There's no offset position control here, but there is in the shading tab. So if we go to the shading, tab go all the way down to position and we have this offset here and then we could right click it and we need to use a modifier with the xy path here in order to animate it it's just there is no other control this is the only control and if we keyframe it with the offset it doesn't work so xy keyframe at the beginning keyframe at the end let's go down and back and let's do it like that and you can see we're moving it down but it's moving this text to the right it's being based off the position of the text and since we have it rotated to 90 degrees now it's moving to the right but that's not what we want we want it to move down so now we have get an animation like this and that's really weird and awkward and dumb we don't want that what we do want the offset to go from the bottom to the top and have this rotation in the middle stay there so what do we do we actually go back to our follow and we don't use the rotation control and the transform over here. Let's get rid of this, double click it, and that'll reset it. And we have to have our animation like this. We want to use the actual rotation in the shading tab down here, right below the position here is the rotation. We can go over here and then keyframe it and keyframe it again at the end. Go back and let's change our value again to 90. And then now we have this incorrect movement. Oh, we also forgot to reset the transform over here. Get rid of that pivot point. Make sure that that's at zero. And then now we could go to this pivot point, type in 0.25 instead of 0 0.025. Keyframe this pivot and now we do it go back and we take a look now that is the correct rotation and it's all based on the position of the character of the text right there you see now it's properly doing the animation that we want we can now refine this animation to some better graphs for example so maybe something like this and then the angle something like this all right usually that's a little too quick so i would keep him in opacity at the beginning but that's basically the way that you would fix your rotation control problems that you're having with it that right